Greetings, and thank you for taking interest in the VMR Insurgency mission by Jigsaw. This video is meant to be a brief overview of the mission and various aspects that make up the mission as a whole. I'll be going over everything that a brand new player would need or want to know logging onto the mission for the first time. The first thing I'm going to be going over is the virtual arsenal. This is where you get all your gear that you want before you can actually start fighting. What you do is you go over to this large crate, you go into your scroll wheel, and you click on the virtual arsenal option. That loads you into the virtual arsenal. You can pan around by right clicking and dragging on the screen. Then over on this left bar, you can edit all the aspects of your equipment that you would like to. Ready for order. Then, you can save the loadout that you've created so the next time you return to the server, you can load it again. Now you have your loadout, don't go over to this flagpole yet. Instead, click on the Save Respawn Loadout. This makes sure that when you die, you'll come back with the same gear you just spent 20 minutes setting up. Next, Group Up. Press the U key and join the group that you want to play with. Next, getting into battle. The most frequent option you're going to be using is the Halo option. What you're going to do is you're going to select your Shoot Deployment Altitude, which I leave around 500 meters and your cut parachute key, which I normally leave blank. Additionally, you can select to deploy directly to one of the mobile headquarters that are located across the map. However, once you go to these, you can't go back. Once you're in the Halo menu, however, you can go to where you want to deploy on the map, click, and you'll be dropped in. Shoot deployment happens automatically at the altitude that you selected on the previous menu, okay, let's go. I'm covering. Go. as in my case, about 500 meters. Cover me. You can then steer around your parachute using the WASD keys, and remember, slow down before landing. Next up I'm going to talk about the grid. The grid makes up these red, green, and unfilled squares across the map. There are three colors. There's bright red for active, green for friendly, and dark red for inactive. Friendly squares mean that you've cleared all the AI out of those squares, and there's no more threat that will directly come from them. Dark red squares are squares that aren't active, and thus the AI haven't spawned in them yet. Bright red squares are active and they do have hostile players in them, or a blue 4 player has not yet walked into that square. Expect to find most, if not all, of your contact here. While we're still on this map screen, I would like to touch on what this red mortar squad marker is. That's one of the secondary objectives that's available throughout the game. Instead of cleaning the squares, you can go after these objectives for a different type of gameplay. Next up, I'd like to talk about the ammunition cache. The ammunition cache is the primary objective of the game. It's and a small green more. box located around these question mark markers that you see on the map. I think you got the right. number next to the markers is the distance away from the marker that the ammo cache is. Once you find it, you can set a satchel yep. charge on it for an explosive charge to blow it up and then redeem vehicle reward. I'll talk about the vehicle rewards it? next. Yeah, Rory's going to blow up this one, since I don't have an explosive charge with me. Charge set. I'm gonna act Next up is the vehicle reward. I'm going to simulate getting I'm calling an airstrike as well. Moderator Thin them out a little bit. So, I'm going into my scroll wheel bar, I'm clicking on the vehicle reward option. Next, I select where I want the vehicle reward to show up. It's marked on the map. I can click on the name of Marshall there 
to get a scroll wheel menu of every vehicle uh, that he's I in the wipe out. I could lay some targets for him. Yeah, I could just about hear you, dude. You're very quiet, but um, yeah, I'm thinking I might have a couple targets or an area I can lay for you to help us get in. So I'm going to decide on a cheat right now. I click the issue vehicle button, and the cheat spawns right here. Now you'll notice I still have the vehicle reward in the scroll wheel menu, but as soon as I click on that, it'll go away.